I'm so tired, duh. I am so tired, duh. Seems like it's not no, uh, like I need a my ring light, but I don't know where my ring light is. I'm going to this joint. We making fresh bread pizza with the family lamb tonight. Let me go on here. Turn this down. Turn that down. And so I can see these comments. So I could see these comments, comments, comments. Wait, hold up. So I could see these comments, comments, comments. Okie dokie. Mm. Okay, there we go. There we go. So we can see these comments. I'm going to put that right here. Went to the fam coming. These feeling like they, um, Okay, so these is the ingredients for my brain. Like I am exhausted. Fresh bread. Can y'all see? Here go my. Here go my French bread, y'all. I was just watching, um, watching the zone. God damn so and that song stuck in my head for messy Mondays. There's a whole lot of whole lot of Okay. Make sure I do these even. Same reason why people put up they that's what that's what Man, I'm just keep my mouth shut. Okay. They're my friend. I knew I was gonna do that, kind of cut them like look at that one side thick, but it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. <clears throat> I don't even know. I don't even know if people uh is even getting um hopefully people getting notified. I ain't went live in so long. But y'all, the French bread. Cause I know y'all be tuning in later. This is my French bread. This is garlic butter. Which has garlic and butter, garlic powder, um, gar minced garlic, some chives. So boom, you want to paste it just like that. YouTube probably playing on my top and ain't even notifying my peeps. I'm about to put this in the oven to get toasty. Put this in the oven real quick to get toasty. Here is my ingredients. Y'all, this is like the most simplest, easy peasy thing to make. And it's so good. It's so good. So here's my ingredients. This is just fresh mozzarella. Fresh mozzarella, a little onion, turkey pepperoni, uh, sliced portobello mushrooms, and some fresh spinach. That is how we like our pizza up in here. Up in here, up in here. That's how we like our pizza up in here. Okay. So I'm just letting my bread get a little toasty. Let that garlic butter infuse in. My ingredients right here. You know what? I want, should I, but you think I should do um banana peppers too? Huh? You don't want to? I don't want no child. I don't want no child. 
I'm just stopping by to say hi to you guys. Showing y'all how easy it is to make a homemade pizza and they be and it's banging. It's simple and it's banging. So y'all, here's my spaghetti sauce. No, I do not make it from scratch because don't nobody got time for that. One day I might have time. Okay, one day I might have time and I just might make a homemade sauce. You know, that's, you know, that's, um, well, I'm not going to say easy, but because it may not be easy for everybody, but it's definitely something, some of the bases that I learned in culinary school was how to make a homemade spaghetti sauce. But anyways, this is jarred sauce. And as you guys know, I do spruce my, I have to spruce my stuff up. So this is Jared, um store store brand sauce with um, seasonings. Um, I used Italian. I used this Italian seasoning, um, garlic powder, um, onion powder, minced garlic. Um, what else did I put in here? I think I also put some chives in here, a little bit of sugar, and listen. Honey, honey, honey. It works very, very good. Very, very good. Very good stuff, my friend. So, you guys, if you are just tuning in or tuning in late, I am waiting for my bread to come out of the oven because I just put the garlic butter on there. And literally, this is only going to take a hot second to cook. So I have my daughters in here already. Let me show you guys what that is hitting for. Y'all, I'm so tired. Let me show y'all what. So my daughter don't be messing with none of that stuff. She just like, give me all cheese. So that is my daughter's before I put it underneath the broiler so that mozzarella could get nice and ooey gooey. But that is what her pizza is hitting for because she is not messing with no uh spinach and mushrooms and none of that y'all know how these young folks uh they don't know how to eat for real they pick it they pick it pick it pick it pick it pick it so yes y'all i'm just waiting for that to come out the other because i am tired y'all I don't know if y'all probably can't see me. And the camera's like in a perfect position. I don't want to move it. But you guys, I'm right here. Y'all, it was just like a busy day today. I'm just like, when I went to the grocery store, I was just like, what can I buy and cook that super quick? Everybody love my pizzas. Boom, that's what we're doing. Get it in, get it out. Because it's like late. It's getting late. And I was in the garden today and... Y'all, I don't know if anybody out there is like growing their own garden, but you know, gardens have to be tended to. Like, so the crazy part is about my garden, my fiance, he turned over all of the dirt before we even started and laid any vegetables. The dirt was turned over so we wouldn't have to deal with weeds and grass coming up. Y'all, why is it still weeds and grass coming up? So you know, you have to get rid of all that. You have to get rid of all, all those weeds and, and that grass because they will smother out the vegetable and then your vegetable can't grow. So, oh, and then it's just like, I don't have one of them like cute little like garden chairs, like, you know, what them old folks that be having, they be sitting down in a little garden. I ain't gonna say old folks. I ain't gonna say that, but y'all know what I mean. Like a little cute stool or whatever. To sit so my knees be killing me afterwards, my back be killing me, y'all. When I tell y'all I'm tired, I was just like, I gotta see, I gotta, I gotta show the family in this pizza. I gotta see what's going on with them. So, right, exactly, exactly, Gary. And I mean, them weeds take over, and we tillered the whole area, like we literally tillered the entire area. That's what I don't understand. And at first, it was like, okay. Boom, we just dealing with dirt. We got it. 
Oh, the grass came right back. I got to show you guys my garden. It's so dark. It's super duper dark. Let me hold on. Let me see. If it's the sunset. Oh, yeah, it's super dark. Super dark now. But I'm going to do another video when I where I show you guys my um my garden. It's not doing as good as last year, though. It's really not. And I think because the weather here has been so, like, sucky. I think the weather has been, like, so sucky where it's just, like, it literally just started getting warm. Oh, oh. Okay, so here is my bread. Let me move these ingredients right here. And then I'm going to get this. And put it right here so it won't ruin my little counter here. So, boom. Those are my French breads. I'm just going to take my daughter's and put this underneath the broiler. You got to hit it with that broiler, y'all. You got to hit it with that. Yo, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all right now. I'm telling y'all right now. Hold on, let me turn this off. Broil. And y'all, don't let me be over here and forget that I got that um pizza underneath the broiler. Because that's exactly what I'll do. Forget. But I'm telling y'all right now. Once you make your own French bread pizza, you is never gonna buy none of that store brought stuff again. It just it just it hit different. So um I already told you guys how I make my sauce. I even think I, I have a video, too, with doing this sauce. And like I said, it's store-brought. It's nothing fancy. Um, you know, it's quick, easy, simple. Nothing expensive. Nothing crazy. So I'm just going to ladle this sauce over here. And I like to make a lot of sauce. Um... You know, and just refrigerate or freeze it. So when we want some pizzas the next time. And I'm kind of going a little heavy, y'all, too, with this sauce. Because that uh, French bread is thick, but not too much sauce. That's another thing about making your pizza at home, too. You could do it exactly how you want to do it. Okay. Now... Now, 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 What I like to do now is go in with, y'all know I love my Topps brand stuff. So now I'm going in with some thick cut mozzarella. Thick cut mozzarella. Mozzarella, mozzarella. Boom. Show some love to this baby over here. Boom. 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 Right? Boom. 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 Move that over a little bit. Move that over a little bit. Boom. Boom. Right? Boom. Now, let me get me a paper towel. Let's me get a paper towel. So, and let me check this pizza that's underneath the broiler. Let's see what it's doing. Oh, yeah. It ain't doing nothing too much. Oh, it ain't doing too much of nothing yet. So, that's down, right? So, now I'm going to hit it with some grated craft Parmesan. Just like that, right? Love this stuff on pizza. Love it, love it, love it. Now, I'm about to go in with... A little light onion. We don't want heavy onion tonight. And like I said, you guys, my uh, daughter's pizza is in the oven finishing up because she does not want all this, all these different toppings on it. She don't know how to eat. She don't know how to eat. She don't know how to eat. Okay, I'm going to go on with these mushrooms. And I feel like uh, we like mushrooms, though, in this house. I feel like I should have diced them. But guess what? Look what's about to happen. Squeeze them. Crush them up just like that. Because I really didn't want them big chunks, though. 
Boom, like that. Like that. I hope it's enough light to y'all. I'm so tired tonight. I didn't even um feel like going to get my tripod. So a little bit of mushroom. A little bit of mushroom. Love mushrooms. And all my stuff is already rinsed. I already rinsed all my vegetables. Everything is prepped. Everything is prepped and rinsed on my plate. Prepped and rinsed on my plate. Y'all, can y'all please make y'all own pizza one day? Just like one day. So I like to make sure my stuff is nice and well proportioned. Let's see. It looks like we need a little bit of mushroom right here. A little bit of mushroom right there. A mushroom right there. But y'all, yeah, I've been in the garden. Oh, and that just drains me. That is like work. But it's coming along beautifully. My crops literally just started growing. So now what I'm going to do is check that piece in the oven. Check that piece in. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, we almost... We almost had an issue. Let that cool off. Put that back on the bake. Hold on, I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all my daughter's pizza. Right here. And that is just all cheese. All cheese. I'm about to sprinkle some Parmesan on top. Sprinkle some parm on top. And let that cool. And it's going to be time to grow up. That's all cheese right there. Let me separate that like that. French bread. Delicious. Delicioso. Delicioso. Hold on, y'all. Let me cover it up because we don't need nothing. Y'all know it's the summertime. And no telling what they got in your house once you uh, open up that door. So where are we at, y'all? So we got some, we got some, let's see. What's up? What up, fam? Gary is in the house. Chef Hit Dice is in the house. Mm. And Gary, oh. Oh. Gary, give me two seconds because I'm about to mind you because I only, it's like a handful of people who is literally on Johnny on the spot. So, because I'm about to be going live a lot, y'all. Because it's so easier to cook live because it's like, Y'all get it, it's here, it's raw, it's uncut. I think we about to just start going live a lot. So listen, y'all, we got the French bread with the garlic butter, okay? We put that in the oven, took that out once that got toasty, roasty. We put our uh, pizza sauce on there that was nice and spruced up. Um, we got some portobello mushrooms on here. We got some uh, white onion on here, and we got some thick-cut mozzarella. So now... Let's go in with spinach, fresh spinach, fresh spinach. And if I wasn't tired, y'all, like literally this is how we order our pizza. Like for real, like we love it like this. So fresh spinach, right? Make sure it's nice and, you know, you got to make sure it's nice. I really hope y'all got a good light. Y'all really got y'all gotta uh make sure it's nice and well proportioned out. Well proportioned out, right? Okay, now what I'm going to do is sprinkle on some Italian seasoning because I want those um onions and, and the spinach nice and seasoned because you know those are bland, no taste, right? Um, I'm also going to go in on ours, a little bit of that grated Parmesan, right? And now I'm going to go in with some fresh mozzarella. Am I in the camera? Fresh mozzarella. 
French mozzarella with a mushroom stuck on it. And with this fresh mozzarella, just take it, nothing fancy. Take it and strategically place it. Take it and strategically, because this right here, y'all, now you could use, I'm all for the, um, I'm all for the mozzarella uh, in a bag, uh, shredded in a bag. But y'all, y'all have to incorporate somehow this fresh ball, the fresh mozzarella. You have to. You have to. That's going to make everything hit different, okay? Boom. 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 I love making pizzas. And y'all, if I wasn't, um, if I had more energy, I would, uh, I wanted some Italian sausage on here. Cause and that's and that's usually how we get it too. Spinach, Italian sausage, mushrooms, onion, and banana peppers, but he don't want banana peppers tonight, so we're just so I'm not gonna do banana peppers. And no need to bring them out the fridge. Boom, 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 boom. Right? So boom. Fresh mozzarella, right? Where's my napkin? Now, we put on our turkey pepperoni. So, I have not personally been talking to you guys, you know, telling you about day-to-day -day life and all that stuff. But I have not ate pork, uh, me or my fiance. We gave up pork in December. We have not had any pork since December, you guys. So, these are... Turkey pepperoni. So the recipes that you guys are going to be seeing here on out is going to be everything minus pork until I feel like, hey, I eat pork again. Until then, it's going to be, it's going to, it is what it is, as they say. So now, you guys, let's go back in. Okay. We're going back in with some shredded because that is really going to make that, uh, First of all, it's going to make it look real pretty. And it's like that top layer of cheese is like the glue. It's like the glue to everything. And I'm kind of going a little, not heavy on the ingredients, but that, like I said earlier, the French bread is so, is light. I mean, I'm sorry. The French bread is um thick, so it could withstand one thing I hate is a unproportioned pizza pie where it'd be like thick ass crust, but no sauce or <laughs> it'd be like, <laughs> it'd be just like not well proportioned. Like what happened? Okay. So now, now at this time, I like to go back in with some of that grated parm. Love grated parm on my stuff. This is that Italian seasoning, Kinder's. Okay. And I could have layered it. I could have put the onion, but I want them onions at the bottom because you guys, the reason why I put the onions and the spinach at the bottom is because, and the mushrooms is because they were raw. So as that's baking in the oven, I, I want that to, I didn't want to saute them. Like my fiance said, just let them bake so we could have a slight crunch still on the veggie. So that's why I did that not like that. And I kind of piled everything on it. And right now my oven is at 350 because my daughter, like I said, she only um, likes a cheese pizza. That's how she eats it. So her, I cooked hers on 350 for ours because it's a little bit more ingredients. I'm going to uh, lower it to maybe about to probably 300, y'all. Probably 300. Now what I'm looking for. I'm over here looking for something in the, here we go. Now, also, I'm going to top it with this as it bakes, which is also bomb. This Kinder's 
It's a it's red garlic. It's crushed red jalapeno and garlic. Uh, so I'm going to go really light on this. Not too much. Not too much. Not too much. And it's just going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful when it comes out the oven. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. I don't think I am. Let me, everybody that has just tuned in, let me show you what the cheese pizza came out looking like. This is what the cheese pizza, still really piping hot. Oh, ho, 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 that's hot. Ho, ho, ho. But this is the cheese pizza. Yeezy Poo. Come on, baby. Come get you a plate. Your pizza done. It's cooled off, too. So that is what the cheese pizza is looking like. Grated mozzarella as well as fresh mozzarella. That sauce. That Parmesan cheese. And this is what our pizza is looking like. Right here, mushrooms, onions, turkey, pepperoni, spinach, fresh mozzarella. Yes, Gary, I'm telling you, let me tell you something. I got to take y'all to my seasoning cabinet, but y'all seen the seasoning cabinet. Kinder's is just life. Hold on, let me stop rambling. Let me get this in the oven because this is about to be amazing. And then mind you, this is what I'm saying about Every layer has to have flavor. Think about our bread. Our bread, right, was brushed with a beautiful garlic butter. So that's just going to make for more flavor. So I'm about to lower the oven temperature, you guys, and put this in the oven. And, oh, my God, this is about to be bomb. It's about to be bomb. So that's in the oven. I'm about to lower it to 300. Because I don't want it to cook too fast. Don't it look good, boo? It look good? Okay. Yeah, it look good, girl. It look good, girl. Your mama gonna hook it up, girl. So, you guys, that is what's going on. I wanted to... Y'all know I'm going to put up a ton of finished result pictures. I might even do like a little video. Like, oh yeah, finished result. Because it's going to take about... That pizza, I just lowered it, so it's probably going to take about, mm, not, my. Uh, it probably won't be done for another, like, 15 minutes. So, and I don't want to hold you guys, and I could be in the shower while the pizza is baking. <laughs> I could be killing, like, two birds with one stone, but yes, y'all, listen, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about seasoning. It ain't what you're cooking, it's how you season it. I'm trying to tell you. That one ain't one. Yeah, they kind of big. That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. They kind of big. But Kinders. Uh oh. Go ahead, baby. Uh oh. But y'all, you're welcome, baby. No problem, of course. But this Kinders, look, let me show y'all this. This Kinders, I'm acting like Kinders is sponsoring me. But, um, I mean, if they product is good, it's good. This, y'all, is so bomb. Y'all have to, Kinders, oh, my gosh. I'm going to lay these right here because y'all need to get all these. Kinders, that buttery poultry, bake your chicken with that. Then that's the red garlic that we just used with the crushed jalapeno. Bomb. Then I'm so in love with their Italian blend for my pastas and stuff. I love it. That Italian blend. I am this. Now this one, Kinders, if you ever, if you ever see me talking about your Kinders, this is my favorite Kinder seasoning, the blend. Is salt, pepper, and garlic the blend? And yes, I'm promoting them. I don't know how all that go. People say not sponsored, not promote. I don't care about that. It's good. It's good. If it's good, it's good, y'all. So that's the fajita. This is how much I love Kinders. 
Now, I don't love them more than my seasoning, but y'all know. This is my go-to right here, Kinder's. Then you got that Kinder's. Uh, this is pretty good, too. The wood fire. The wood fire uh, garlic. Wood fire garlic. Oh, y'all, I might be able to just show y'all my... We might be on that buttery steakhouse. Put that on the T-bone. And tell it, put that on the T-bone steak and then let me know how you feel about it. You got that buttery joint right there. What else? Kinder's Italian blend. That might be that. Yep, I think that's my. Now, that's my Kinder's collection. One other thing that I'm so in love with, and I thought I had more Kinder's, but another thing that I'm in love with is... Weber, 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 Weber. What can we say about the Weber? So, hold up. So, Kinders, I'm going to tell y'all, get that fajita blend. And they got it's citrus and garlic. Okay, get that fajita blend. Get that buttery steakhouse. Definitely get this. I got a video, y'all, that I got to edit tonight where I did um, uh, garlic buttered uh, leg quarters in the oven. Bomb. And you got the wood, the red garlic, Italian blend, a must for the cabinet. Favorite ever. This goes on everything. Like, it's like salt pepper garlic you'll be surprised because it's real simple but i'm telling y'all it's like real bomb it's real bomb thanks gary bear then you got that wood garlic now another one of my favorite brands of seasoning is weber gotta have my kicking chicken got to Roasted garlic Asiago. Oh my God. I'm so in love with seasonings, you guys. I'm telling you. If anybody is watching this, watching this, if this comes across anybody's uh, channel, uh, anybody's phone, I don't know how you're watching it, phone, TV, computer, whatever. If you make your own seasonings, Please send me some so I can actually cook with it and promote it. Because I love me a good seasoning. I would love to try your seasoning. Honey garlic. Oh, man. This is a go-to right here. Um, more kicking chicken. I'm letting y'all in on what I... On my little seasonings here. Because I'm telling you, ain't nobody messing with me with the seasoning game. Anyway, so let me tell you something. That smoky truffle. Smoky truffle seasoning. Put, see, put it on your steak. You see the picture, what they trying to tell you to use it for. Smoky truffle. Bomb. That cowboy. Not, uh. Let me smell this and see if this one. I think this cowboy was not one of my favorites, but I still use it like for burgers, but it got kind of a, like a, I don't know. It's just like a weird taste to me, but it's like doable. You just got to cook, cook the right thing with it. It's weird. So, but I got the cowboy bomb. Please put it on your fish, put it on your fish, put it on your fish. Put it on your fish. Y'all, I love me some seasonings. What else we get? What else we get? What else we get? What else we get? Love me some seasoning. And then you got that Weber uh, garlic jalapeno. Now, y'all, I really don't use a lot of this because I'm still trying to figure out. <sighs> it, it say tacos. See, they got the tacos up there. They're trying to tell you what to use it for, but uh, mm, don't really like it on my tacos. But, y'all, I'm telling you, it's all in the seasoning. It's all in the seasonings. It's all in your seasonings, y'all. Now, 
another one of my favorite brands. I don't discriminate. I really don't. Let me see. I love, I love grill mates. These are some awesome, I love seasonings where you can actually see the flavor. So this is the barbecue grill mates. Honey hickory, the truth. Brown sugar, bourbon, truth. Ultimate truth. You can see this. I got to get some more of this. The Louisiana Cajun. Truth. Smokehouse maple. I love anything that's like sweet and smoky. But y'all, this is just not even. This ain't even a dent. I ain't even about to bore y'all. Like, I don't know what content y'all be wanting to see. But if y'all want me to take y'all through my uh, seasoning cabinet to show you what I, how I flavor my food. Because like I'm telling you, it's all about, it's all about seasoning. You have to season your food. Like, you have to season your food. But I'm going to tell you something. Now, I didn't show y'all all these seasonings, but I'm going to tell you something. This all you need right here. I'm going to tell you something right now. This all you need right here. And y'all know I got the... And y'all... Did I tell y'all? Did I tell y'all? This... I've been dropped this. This available on the website too. Let me... Okay. I put that on everything. The sweet and smoky barbecue rub. I've been dropped this. On the website, y'all. Available on the website. This all you need. Hot, regular. This all you need. And I did a video the other day. And I, maybe, I don't know if it was the leg quarter one, but I think I was at my season cabinet again, y'all. And I was just like, kind of, because I be tripping. How like people make no shade, no tea, no hate. Why people just like throw some shit together. Throw it in a jar and be ready to sell it. Literally everybody that you see selling seasonings, they don't have they don't have this. That means they ain't take the time to go through the food scientists. They ain't drop that bag like they needed to. These labels cost bread, but I'd rather spend that bread to make sure I'm doing it right. You know what I mean? So, man. Pay attention. Pay attention to that. Anybody can slap some stuff together and throw it in a in a in a in a jar or in a bottle. You can get these bottles off of Amazon. It's nothing. It's nothing special to get the bottles. Listen, put forth the effort, man, for y'all customers. Stop slapping stuff in a bottle and then just trying to make a coin. Or maybe you just want your flavor out there. Maybe you're not trying to just make a quick coin. Maybe you just want them to taste it really bad. If you want them to taste it really bad, tell them to hit you up in your email with their address and send them a sample for free. Stop trying to sell unofficial stuff. Okay? Thank you. And thank you very much. But... Let's check my pizza because y'all actually still hanging out. So listen, our pizza is still in the oven. Let me see. Oh, yeah, we got a long ways to go with it. Yep, we got a long ways to go with it. We got about, we about 10 minutes out, you guys. So now what I'm about to do is like bust these suds, you guys. I'm about to um, bust these suds. Put these back in the cabinet. Take me a nice hot shower. Catch up on some shows. Edit some videos. I got like... What do I got? I think I got like two videos I need to edit for y'all. Um, What else I need to do? I just need to get on off. I need to get offline. Is what I need to do so I can handle my scandal. Handle my scandal. Whoever is watching, just hit a like. It helps the algorithm. It helps me out a lot. 
I don't think that y'all really be knowing how much it helps to just hit the like button and subscribe. It's all free. It's not going to cost you anything. Even creating an account is not going to cost you anything, you guys. So, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I love you guys. Let me know what content. I really, really, really want y'all to hang out because I really want y'all to see, like, the finished results, like, raw and uncut. But I am going to definitely... What I'll probably be doing, y'all, is um, I'll probably be putting it on TikTok. If y'all want to see it right away, y'all got to follow me on TikTok at Yaya's Catering. Um, I will try to post a picture on the community page, though, so you guys can see it. Because I'm not just going to have y'all like, whoa, wonder what that's going to come out like. Y'all know I'm not going to leave y'all hanging. If y'all don't see it on the community page, then y'all definitely want to go over to my TikTok. And check it out there. But, honey, we are about to clean up our kitchen because we need to wake up to a nice clean one. And put this cheese up. And I love you guys. I just wanted to come and I think I'm going to start doing a lot of these like little short live like videos because I like it. I feel like I'm here. Y'all got me. What's up? This is what we making. It's all good. Hello. Let me put these ingredients up. What happened to that? Um. Oh, here we go. So, I don't throw away nothing. That's That could make a whole nother pizza. So, you already know we saving all these ingredients. Mixing it right up here. It's okay. Put it in the same bag. Cause I did these um I did these bagel joints the other uh the other week oh my gosh these this would be crazy too on a bagel oh my gosh adult bagel bites bomb it was bomb what'd you say gear it was a great oh thank you thank you Gary Thank you, Gary. You're number one. Gary is number one on the list. On the list. But you guys, let me take this off so I can show you guys. There's my daughter's pizza. She then took one half. I guess she said she said uh, she gonna come back to the other half, but. That is what our pizza is looking like. Cooking nice and slow. I put it on 300. I low key want to put it on um, 250. I just feel like that'll be too low, but that is what it's looking like. And yes, I want everything to get nice and melty. And then once everything gets nice and we gooey, we are going to put it in. The broiler under the broiler and that's really go see the broiler takes it up to this notch that notch right that's what you want to see on your piece and them little pieces right there them little nice little charred pieces that's what you want but yes i don't know why my camera seems like it's getting but yes yes you guys it is french bread pizza night And this is basically how ours is going to come out. I'm still going to show you guys um, a picture because we got the pepperoni and everything on it. Here's my sauce. Like I said, I like to make ample sauce. So just in case I got the taste for a homemade pizza, bye y'all, bye y'all. Because I really can't, my stomach really can't tolerate you guys. Um, I got to put those in a uh, plastic baggie. I got to wash those dishes up. I got my tripod right here, the ghetto. Um, Parmesan cheese got to go up and yes, but let me see if I can turn the camera around. Whew. 
y'all. And like I said, I've been in my garden, so y'all better y'all better be quiet. And y'all better not be talking. I'm tired. I'm tired. This is what mom trying to get dinner done, quick dinner, tired, okay? So I'm about to clean up and get ready for bed. I just wanted to stop by and say what is going on to all my new subs. Thank you so much for joining the family. Make sure you guys like this. If you're re-watching it, leave some purple hearts to show me that you care, baby. And y'all got to tell me what y'all want me to cook. Because I had like an ultimate brain fart at one point. I was just like, I don't even know what like I feel like I feel like I haven't cooked everything. Oh, y'all know what I'm about to get into? I'm looking I'm a mess. Ignore it. But we in mom mode. But y'all know what I'm I want to get into is some um like sweets. That's something that you guys do not see on the channel a lot is cakes, cookies, and I got like some, I ain't doing nothing from scratch. Now, if y'all want to see a comedy show, I can do something from scratch because that'd be pure comedy. Oh, y'all know what I should do for y'all is I should do, because I never um, tried to do it before, I should try to do my grandmother's pound cake recipe. Let me know if you guys want to see that. I should try to do my grandmother's pound cake recipe because I never, I've seen her do it a thousand times and I know I'm still going to jack it up, but it'll be interesting. And y'all know what else I'm going to do about all the ingredients for it. I want to make some homemade chocolate chip cookies for y'all because I'm so in love with chocolate chip cookies, but I do not be wanting to spend the money on like the Nestle break and bake joints because them joints be like a grip. So I'm like, I need to learn how to make my own chocolate chip cookies. But you guys, I'm looking crazy. I'm looking crazy. I'm looking sweaty. Like, why? What? I'm about to get out this hot kitchen because I'm like, why are you sweating like that? Like, it's not even that. Like, it's not. It's really not that hot. Yes, it is. It's hot as heck in here. But I love you guys. I have a mess to clean. Pepper, you want to say hi? Where are you? Say hi, mama. Hi, mama. Hi, mama. Hi, family. Hi, someone. I'm looking for scraps. I'm looking for food. And I'm not supposed to be in my mommy kitchen. Yeah. Say hi, guys. Say hello. What you going to say to him? Say good night. Say, oh, yeah, y'all got a video coming up too with uh, Pepper in it because um, I made her some homemade dog food that is um, really easy to make for your dog. She like, why are you following me? Where are you going, Tutu? You leaving? You out of here? You had enough? You stressed out? You stressed? You got somewhere to be? Catch you later then. But you guys, um, gray hair coming out, but, um, love you guys. I am going to clean up my kitchen because look at, I cannot deal with them dishes. So we have to clean our kitchen. We are going to get in a nice shower and love you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Video, look, y'all. I'm crusty. I gotta go. I'm crusty. I'm crusty. Love you guys.